just sick of the superintendent. It was a noisy day in the normally quiet community of East Canton. Students surrounded the school protesting the removal of Principal John McIntosh. McIntosh was given a half hour to clean up his desk yesterday, then he was escorted out of school by police, leaving parents and students outraged. And I don't think there's any reason for this whole thing to be going on. The superintendent needs to chill out and talk to people and get this resolved because look what it's doing to the kids. Superintendent Dr. George McGuire is recommending McIntosh be terminated Monday night at the regular school board meeting. McIntosh says he's not sure why the superintendent wants him fired. Students say McIntosh is more than a principal, he's a friend. And they won't return until he's back home in his office. People that aren't even in school anymore, they can come in here and talk to him and can sit in his office all day and he's got time for everybody, whether you're in school or not. I mean, there was there was kids that were killed in car accidents. He, he sent flowers to the parents. He went to the hospital to see the kids. I mean, it's just ridiculous that they can get rid of him and they think that he's a threat to the school. School officials are hopeful a peaceful solution can be reached soon. But until then... We continue to have classes and uh, kids that are here are getting a lot of individualized attention. McIntosh says he's sorry the kids are in the middle and he wishes they go back to class. Tonight, McIntosh and his wife sat in the high school auditorium as the school board met in executive session for almost an hour. They were deciding whether to renew McIntosh's contract or terminate it. The auditorium was overflowed with parents and students, the majority of whom support the principal. And I know the kids like him. We have three sons that have gone to school here. And he's at every school function that there is, supporting all the kids. Mr. McIntosh is probably the greatest asset East Canton has. And if we get rid of him, I honestly feel that it could make cause failure to our school. Now, there were a few in the crowd who support Superintendent George McGuire and the school board. We feel the decision is the best interest for our school and our students is for him to be removed. McIntosh says he doesn't know why the board wants him out. Well, I think I've done a, a very good job for the district, and I, I have nothing that I'm ashamed of or have any, you know, there's always room for improvement, and I'm not going to deny that. But I think overall that uh, my record stands for itself. Now, McIntosh's attorney says they both plan to fight this vigorously in the court on the grounds that the board and the superintendent acted improperly by firing him. Wilma and Mark. All right. F. Lee Bailey got to take his shot at LAPD Detective Mark Furman today. At the East Canton High School tonight, the school board holds a meeting to hear protest and support on the superintendent's recommendation to oust the school principal. Hundreds of students, parents, faculty, and even alumni showed up to voice their opinion of that recommendation. Channel 3's Kate Lurie is just back from the meeting. She joins us now from our Akron Bureau. Kate, it's hard to believe someone so popular like a principal might get fired. It really is, Judd and John. He was so popular, you know, only one word comes to my mind when I think about the devotion this community has to its principal, and that's overwhelming. More than 500 people crammed the standing room only gym tonight as they demonstrated their loyalty to the nine-year veteran of East Canton High School. The East Canton High School gym was filled to capacity tonight as the debate over the school superintendent's proposal to fire Principal John McIntosh, known to most as Mac, heated up. He's a good guy. He does stuff for the community, and he's just here for the students. Mr. McIntosh has been a great uh, inspiration to a lot of these kids. He's got a lot of charisma with the kids. But like him or not, Superintendent George McGuire wants him out, citing his inability to discipline students. And the majority of teachers in the district agree. All but four voted in favor of McGuire's recommendation. On what basis could the group of people here tonight possibly substitute their judgment for that of the superintendent of the board? Matt says he cares deeply for the kids of East Canton and wants to stay. Hey, they're in my life, so right now. But I love what I'm doing. And that's why I don't want to change. And Mac's lawyer is prepared to fight for what he wants. I'll proceed to file a mandamus action to have him reinstated for failure to follow the uh, Ohio law and the federal law. Now, as soon as the board entered the meeting, 
They said a prayer, the Pledge of Allegiance, and then immediately went into a closed-door meeting for at least an hour and a half. When they came out, they were just beginning to hear people voice their opinions about the situation. As of 10 o'clock, they were still hearing people come to the podium to voice their opinions. We have a call into Principal McIntosh's lawyer. He is supposed to call us back with the outcome of that meeting. It is probably still going on at this time. But we will have the results for you and that meeting tomorrow. Judd and Don, back to you. Okay, do you think that the public can actually hold sway here over the, uh, uh, the teachers and the uh, superintendent? You know, it sure looks that way. Their whole gripe is that they are the taxpayers. They are paying the board to do what they want. And they're saying what they want is to keep Principal McIntosh. Well, hopefully the wisest decision will be made. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kate. Well, speaking... Well, Lorna McIntosh will go to court to get his job back on grounds that he was not given 10-day notice and that the board didn't follow proper procedure and guidelines on his proposed firing. Only time will tell, though, if McIntosh will win this case, and we're going to... Guys are relaxing until Thursday's game.